Welcome back again, and in this lesson we're going to be setting up Amazon S3 instance, which is a virtual private server from Amazon Web Services. So what we need to do is to go to aws.amazon.com and register your free account by clicking Create a free account button. So after you've registered, you will be assigned a free tire, uh, which gives you one year of bundle of free services. And this bundle includes uh, a small virtual private server, which is free for one year. Okay, so you register a free account and I will log in into my existing account. After you've su successfully registered, you will see this dashboard. Here we choose EC2. And we look for create instance header and here we click launch instance button here it is in step one we need to choose the Amazon machine image which actually is a pre-configured and pre-built operating system image for your future virtual server we don't see our the Debian operating system we need. So let's search here in AWS Marketplace Debian. And here we need to find uh, 32 bits operating system. We see the page which says that this image is eligible for free tire. 4 bits and 32 bits. This is the image we need because we have will have only uh, half a gigabyte of RAM. T1 micro is our instance type. We click continue. Here We choose an instance type and for free we can choose only T1 micro. Okay, and we press next. Here we once again check everything. And actually we don't need to make any changes here. Just like let's look around. Let's take a peek at advanced details, kernel ID, RAM disk ID, nothing to change here. Okay. Let's click next. Here we can add new volume, add storage, choose another storage type, but we won't do anything right now. Next. We can tag our instance. Here next we can configure security group. So here in security group, let us change the source for SSH connections to my IP, only to your IP. Your IP will be shown here. It means that only you will have ability to connect to your server, regardless of what password you use, and even if your password is stolen. Okay. So here we have a dialog box about general purpose SSD and uh, here I recommend you to choose the recommended option, which is the first option here. Free tire has 30 gigabytes of SSD storage. Here step 7, we review everything, review all details of our server and click launch. 
Okay, here we see that we won't pay anything for our server right now. After you click launch, you need to create a new key pair. Key pair is actually an encrypted key which will give you access to your server, to administrate your server. Without this key pair, you won't have access to your instance. So we choose create a new key pair, we give it a name and we download it. Let's save it to desktop. Okay. And finally, 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 we press launch instances. So let's make it a bit faster here, because it takes time. Here we have the launch status message. You can read everything carefully here, especially if you are doing it for the first time. And here we see our instance, which is up and running. The status says running, it's green. Here are the details. You can monitor your server here. A little bit later you will see that these graphs are alive. What we need to do now is to go to security groups, select this security group, which is the security group of your instance, and in inbound traffic group we need to add, we have here the SSH security rule, and we need to add the rule which will accept the HTTP connections to our server from anywhere. Okay, we save it and now we're ready to go. And in the next lessons we will learn to connect and administrate our virtual servers.